I'm approaching the Sainsbury's Retail Park roundabout in Sunny Oak and I want to go towards City Centre which we can see on the sign on the left is straight ahead at the roundabout. There's a slip road off to the left just before the roundabout leading to Harborne but as I say I'm going second exit towards City Centre and Edgebuston. I cannot see the roundabout at all at the moment so I'm going to proceed relatively cautiously. I'm in a 30 mile an hour road. I can see there's a one-way road on the left. I can now see the markings. That's the road off the Harborn and Bearwood. Now I can see the roundabout sign, the blue circle in front of me. I started looking to the right. There are two lanes without arrows on. Go ahead. So I must stay in the outer one on the roundabout. There's a keep clear section. I've gone past the first exit. So I've checked my mirrors and I can signal left. And here, I'm checking my right mirror because I can see that lane number two leaving the roundabout has some deflection arrows telling traffic in that lane to merge with my lane. I have a similar situation at this next roundabout. There's a slip road off to the left towards the hospitals, but I'm going to use the roundabout to do a U-turn, come all the way round, and come back into this same road. So I'm approaching in the right-hand lane, the road turns to the two lanes just a few metres before the roundabout. Nothing's coming from the right onto the roundabout, staying close to the grass, checking my left mirror to make sure there's nobody squeezing me even closer. White car coming in quite fast, getting ready to signal left, done a double check, signal left, red car behind isn't coming up very fast on my left shoulder, so I can maintain my speed, um, and they were matching my speed, there is a safe distance for me to move across to the left. If I find it difficult to judge, I can always glance over my shoulder and see through the rear passenger window on the left just how far away that car is. It's always hard to tell using just the left-hand door mirror or the right-hand door mirror. Same large roundabout again at the retail park. This time I'm going to turn right going towards Bearwood and Harbour. So that's exit one, two, three. I check my right mirror, I'm positioning across to the right of my half of the road and I can see that after this pedestrian crossing the road turns from one lane into three lanes lots of right, you see a right hand arrow so I've lined up my car with that piece of road I've scanned along the right hand side and there are no other junctions on the right before the roundabout so I can get my signal on and because there are three lanes going into the roundabout, I'm in lane three. I stay in lane three on the roundabout, which is this one. Now I'm looking to stay between white lines. I've finished going around to the right. And I've gone past exit two. So I can check my mirrors and signal and leave the roundabout at exit three. I'm staying in this lane because I cannot fit my car completely into lane one. And I don't want to be in lane one and a half, in other words, straddling between the two lanes. I'm going to do a U-turn again to come back to the roundabout. I can see there's a white arrow in this lane. Slowing down a lot so that I can look over my right, sh right shoulder and make sure I can keep moving, which I can. Building up the speed so that the car that was coming from in front of me, now behind me, doesn't have to slow down. And once again, we're approaching that large roundabout. This time I'm going towards the motorway. So that's the blue part of the sign, exit one, two, three. I've got some more signs here, some white rectangles with black arrows. Two lanes can go to the right. I'm going to take the one furthest over to the right because it has the shortest queue. It also has the best view to the right. I'm looking at the roundabout in front to check how many lanes there are on the roundabout. There are three of them. So because I'm in the rightmost lane, I definitely need to aim for the rightmost lane on the roundabout. There's no gap at the moment. So I'll put on so I can get my power foot ready. Now there's a gap. Checking in front, checking right, checking in front, checking left mirror, checking left mirror to make sure that black car is staying in the correct position. Looking through the driver's window to see 
see if my lane moves away from the roundabout, which it does. And I can exit the roundabout in lane number two. Looking well ahead, there's lots of brake signals, but they weren't in my lane. However, I have a red traffic signal. Checking there's nobody rushing out from the left hand side. I can increase my speed, keeping my car accurately within my lane. I can use my door mirrors as I go through a bend where there are white lines painted on the road either side of my car. My door mirrors can show me if the back end of the car is actually staying within the lane. Sometimes if it's a tight bend, the front end has to go a little bit deeper forwards before you steer, before you change direction, so that the back end, which always takes a lazier line is definitely staying within the space that's marked by the white lines on the road. And that's Sainsbury's Roundabout, Sally Oak.